When they arrived at their vacation palace, one of the first thing the boys did was some heavy grooming. And of course, some heavy drinking too, because it's really hot outside. After that, they got some fresh cherries straight from a neighbor's garden. A A1 treat for some A1 boys. Cookie, who is the biggest lover of fruits and vegetables of them all, really enjoyed them a lot, as you can see him right now. But they all, they all love them. Rats and uh, red berries are uh, always a good match. After that, some uh, chillin', especially from the oldest ones. The, the youngest were a bit more nervous and excited. After that we saw some dope ass insect that looked really swag, you know, for lack of a better word. It was green and, and shit. How, how more swag can you get? And after that it was time for bed, because we had seen it all. And now, what you're seeing is 7 a.m. in the next morning. The rats are, well, they're not waking up because they're quite nocturnal animals. They have completely different clocks than we have. They're just chilling. As you can see, they're um, being quiet. It's already pretty hot despite being 7 a.m. So uh, here's a view from the balcony. Um, you can see the morning sky and uh, uh, a big oak and uh, some some stuff that is in the balcony, roses and uh, and shit. And there's a, a big nut tree on the left. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really full of nuts. And uh, all the time there are squirrels running up and down. Maybe uh, there were some fish. I don't remember. Yeah. Not everyone's a morning person. I consider myself a morning person because uh, whether I wake up early or late, I feel equally shitty. So might as well wake up early, right? That's uh, not much of a philosophy, but uh, that is mine. And um, yeah, not everyone in this house is a morning person. I'm I'm not pointing any fingers. I'm not. Uh, the boys anyway uh, are basically available to be awake at any time. They don't have a sleep schedule at all. You can wake them up at when you want and they'll be ready to interact, play, have fun. They're really, they're really nice. It's, uh, it's good to have rat as, rats as pets. For this reason, amongst many others. We made them a small labyrinth out of cardboard boxes and threw some pasta in there for extra excitement. They were really delighted. And, uh, here is the garden, um, of my great uncle. He loves gardening, so that's his dog, and that's his um, <coughs> olive tree, and uh, yeah, that's the neighbor's dog. Some lavender, hipster taking uh, pictures with an old ass hmm, camera, dog rolling over and barking, that fucker barks so much! He, he really barks a, a, a lot, especially early in the morning. I, I don't wake up. I'm not the kind of person who's wake, woken up by loud sounds, but some in the room are. I'm not pointing any fingers, but um, some are. Personally, I don't care. I think it's quite endearing, but um, yeah, your mileage may vary. And... Um, For the next sequence, uh, I, I, I do not have anything to say. It's just beautiful, I, I think. So I'm, I'm leaving the nature sounds to the talking.
yeah, some really great nature footage in my opinion. And here are more of the boys who are already suffering from the heat. It's uh, still morning, but as you can see, they are a bit overwhelmed by the temperature. It's uh, in the upper 30s, close to 40 degrees, so really, really hot. It's, uh, especially considering it's still uh, the very beginning of the summer, it's uh, early June in this footage and oh, I intentionally ed choose to edit it right now in January in the heart of the winter because it feels good to see all this heat to reminisce, to remember this summer where it was so hot and so nice and now it's the heart of the winter it's really cold outside there we got rain we got winds and this is jasmine flower ever had jasmine tea or jasmine rice everyone loves jasmine right but not a lot of people so uh, what it looks like well that's it and here are some ants. Ants are not really special, but these ants live in the stones. They live in the wall. And uh, yeah, I love that. I think that's really nifty. So, that's that. A bit more jasmine bit more sky nice shot nice shot dude that may be a bit too long but nice shot oh, and here's the difficult part here is a slow motion shot of wind in the leaves observe on the right side of the screen a bird flying in slow motion I think it's a highlight of the shot this shot uh, was in total like 15 minutes long I, I really had to scour to find the, the best parts because I think I had I had just remember that there was a, a slow motion option on my stupid fucking phone it's because there are so many stupid fucking slow motion footage literally hours of slow motion footage because you have to shoot seven minutes at normal speed to have one hour so yeah lot, lots 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 of slow motion footage for well basically for nothing this is normal footage uh, it's a nice place you see the leaves and the sky behind it i think it's a i think it's a good shot here are some stupid fucking flowers with um a, a poppy i was really into poppy you know the the youtube whatever entertainer singer and shit and here is a slow motion shot of a poppy to be fair i think it's really elegant like that in in the wind and it looks nice and shit but once again i had to trim down the fat so much the complete shot was about 15 minutes so yeah i'm not kidding when i, when I tell you there were literally hours of slow motion footage of random shit there was so much of it and half of this vlog is gonna be slow motion shit be prepared for it here is a slow motion pov shot of me playing fetch with the neighbor's dog right yep that's that's what it is maybe if there is high demand maybe if you guys really love that maybe i release the full videos but i really doubt that it would interest anyone because it's well it's really slow and uh not much happening because it's uh like really slow for the nerds out there it's uh 240 fps slowed down to 30 so that's um eight times slower and uh, yeah that, that that's it that's it 720p upscaled to 1080p if you really want to know everything and um, 
Yeah. The POV dog fetching videos in slow motion. Maybe it's avant-garde. Maybe in, in a few years it's gonna be the new fad. It's gonna be the what everyone wants to do. Slow motion POV shots of playing fetch with your dog. M maybe I'm unbeknownstingly. I'm, I'm trend setting right now. But this dog looks pretty cool, so that's nice. And be prepared because this is the best part. Slow motion POV footage of the neighbor's dog rolling over. Three, two, one, roll. <sighs> yeah, it's rolling. The dog is rolling over. Yep. That is what's happening right now. Wagging his tail. And, um,. I hope you appreciate what you see right now because that's some that's some nice dogo. That's some cool ass dog. But yeah, she, she's genuinely a, a really, really nice dog. She's about ten years old, I think. And uh, she's really smart and uh, and nice. Love that dog. If I had a if I had a garden, you know. And uh, here are my boys, the frolicking on the real ground with the real grass. For some of them, it's the first time of their life. Now that I think of it, for most of them, it's the first time of their life that they touch real ground with real grass and, and earth and, uh, you know, nature and shit. The three oldest. Uh, I've been on vacation with them a bunch of times. Eclair, Benoit, Omarin. They they've no they know the stuff. But uh, I'm not exactly sure about Gouda and Lardon. But the four youngest definitely they they they've spent all their life in a lab or in a cage. So uh, this is a big first for them. And um, yeah, they reacted differently. Some of them were uh, really excited, especially Cookie, who really loved it. He's a real nature boy. He loves fruits, he loves vegetables, and he loves going in the grass or running in the trees. This one. And uh, yeah, <clears throat> that's my boy Gouda, who's uh, quite majestic in this tree. Some rats love climbing trees. I mean, usually rats avoid heights because their biggest predator in, in nature are falcons and owls, basically just birds. And uh, some rats, especially domesticated ones of course, really seem to enjoy climbing in trees. And uh, well, evidently good as one of them, the, the biggest climber uh, it was my boy Eclair, but um, at the time where uh, we filmed this video, he was already quite old. And uh, yeah, he died recently of old age. He was uh, two and a half years old, which is the uh, average life expectancy for a rat. And uh, yeah, Gouda just showed us some really great grooming moves in that tree really really good form for a rat groom um, I'm a fan I'm a I'm a big fan of this boy and um, yeah he seemed really to be enjoying himself oh, that was really really nice Gouda one of the most alphaest alphas I've ever had he's retired now cuz uh, well he aged quite a bit but and that's well, that's the end of the video. It's a um, night walk. Uh, we walked at night because during the day it was really too hot. It was there was no point. You walk for like one minute and you were already full of sweat. So uh, yeah, not nice. And uh, if you want to hear some loudest frogs, 
put on some uh, good headphones because uh, loud as frogs in three, two, one, frog. I hope you appreciated the night frogs. Here's the west sky after sunset. And uh, here's what the east looks like. Quite a big difference. And uh, here's the, the, the west um, again. And thanks for watching. New vlog real soon. Hey, that's Venus in the middle of the sky. Nice. Peace guys, thanks for watching, see you really soon.